Shout out to all the UK viewers out there, all the UK runners. I know there's a lot of you watching these uh, daily running vlogs, and welcome to you. Uh, yeah, we got some, we got some British, uh, British blood over here in America still. survived we survived I'm actually going for a run today a jog more like it was like three or four days of absolute craziness and my stomach was just not so good but I'm feeling better now 95% better I would say so that's a bonus that is always a bonus when you come out uh, come out the other side feeling better oh my goodness it was an insane stomach bug but thank you for all the tips and advice you gave me over the last two or three days and um, we made it we survived so onward to bigger and better things as I like to say which on that note I'm gonna to talk to you about six tips today for maintaining your running fitness during the Christmas and holiday season and I'm excited to talk to you about these tips and what I like to do during the Christmas and holiday time as a runner so stay tuned for that but first let's um, let's get this jog in around downtown Denver we did it we did it you two we did it Sure. Oh, thank you. No problem. I just don't don't worry about getting it. Thanks. Okay, thanks Santa. Have a good one. Bye. Photographer on duty. Photographer on duty. survived I survived the stomach bug of 2018 that was a little insane uh, I probably lost like five to ten pounds uh, which is going to impact my decision remember I was supposed to race a 10k tomorrow and uh, all right six tips today about maintaining your fitness during the Christmas and holiday season all right you like January 1st is always a big moment for people to get back into shape but what about maintaining fitness during the next two to three weeks as January 1st rapidly approaches? And listen, I actually, I commend people for creating New Year's resolutions. Some people look down upon them because a lot of times people never keep them. By the time February rolls around, they are long forgotten. But I'm actually a little bit of a fan of New Year's resolutions if, if you stick to them. So, okay first tip of the day for maintaining your fitness in 2018 into 2019 here it goes ready for this number one nobody nobody is winning the Olympics or winning state championships in December all right this is not our prime time season as runners we are not peaking for any race in December and so my first tip maintain your fitness over these next two to three weeks leading into January rather than gaining fitness. Listen, 
January, February, March, that's gonna be a perfect time to push your fitness forward. Right now, enjoy a little bit. Take that mental break that we need from that high-end training that we that we runners love, but we don't always oh, we can't live there all the time. And so that's my first tip: simply maintain your fitness. Don't try to push your fitness forward. That will happen in January, February, and March. Baby, all right, run is done. I survived the run. Oh man, stomach felt probably 90% good, 10% not so good. But I feel I feel much much better compared to yesterday. Trust me. Okay, guys. Tip number two for maintaining your fitness during this time of the year, leading into the new year, during this Christmas and holiday season. Keep it social. And guess what? This is probably one of my biggest biggest weaknesses is not running with other runners. There's so many runners out there, many of my friends who are runners, and yet sometimes as runners, we are guilty of just kind of getting into a, a zone where we won't pick up the phone and call our friends or text our friends or our teammates and say, hey, you wanna go for a five mile run or a 10 mile run? And so that is my second tip for keeping yourself motivated to get out the door this time of the year when it's cold out and you don't wanna go outside, but Guess what? If you have a buddy who's waiting for you at the corner on a cold, frigid morning, there's a much higher likelihood that you will go outside and go get that run in if there's somebody there waiting for you. That is my second tip. Keep it social, especially during this time of the year when a lot of people have, have time off work from Christmas to New Year's. Like a lot of people aren't even working right now. And so it's a perfect time to invite them out for a run. Okay, time now for tip number three. At the gym, at the gym. All right, come on. Okay, I've made it to the rec center. What is at the rec center? Treadmills, treadmills, that's right. Tip number three, be not afraid of the treadmill. And listen, I don't like treadmills. I, very, I can probably count on one hand how many times I've run on a treadmill in my entire life. Like, first of all, in Denver, where I live, our weather here in Denver through the winter months is not bad at all. In fact, I can look across the street right now at a thermometer and it says 49 degrees. Most days during the winter here in Denver, it gets up to 40 degrees easily. So, but what about Green Bay, Wisconsin? What about Buffalo, New York? What about the Scandinavian countries? Like there are places in the world where it's truly kind of dangerous to run outside during the winter. So I see the benefit of running on treadmills in the winter at times, at times, not all the time, but sometimes. And so I just want to encourage you, if you are struggling to get out there in the, let's say below zero degree temperatures, I actually kind of enjoy like challenging those weather conditions, but I get it. Like it's not for everybody. And you got to be careful of ice. I've fallen, I think I can remember like twice in my life where I've, where I've fallen really hard running on ice or on snowpack. So it can happen, I get it. So be, just don't be afraid to say, hey, I'm gonna call it by not going outside. Instead, I'm gonna go find a treadmill at a, you know, at a rec center, at a gym, maybe you're traveling at a hotel. So anyway, that's tip number three. Let's go get her done in the treadmill. That's right, tip number four, core work, core work. I know you don't wanna hear that. I know you don't wanna hear that. As runners, what do we like to do? We like to run. We like to move forward in the forward direction, but that's an issue because look at all the other sports out there, basketball, football, volleyball, soccer. The athletes are cutting side to side. They're jumping, they're doing different motions, but as runners, we move forward, we love to move forward, but what can happen because of that? Overuse injuries, because our foot striking 
and our stride is the exact same for thousands and thousands and millions of steps, the same motion over and over and over again. And what can happen? The rest of our body can get a little lazy, a little lackadaisical because we're not using it like these other athletes are in different sports. So during these two to three weeks before the new year, when we are maybe maybe taking a little bit of a break from running, maybe not completely, but we're not peaking for a state championship. And therefore, we gotta maintain our core strength so that we can keep good posture when we're running and good form. Form is so key for runners, especially late in races when we're tired. I digress, I'm not gonna get into the details and the nuances of core strength. I'll make other videos down the road about core strength, and uh, but it's so important and right now, as before your running starts to pick up again in the new year with more mileage, now's the time to lay the groundwork and the foundation and the uh, and frankly the habit of working on our core before we're just out there pounding you know so many miles as the weather gets warmer down the road. So I digress. All right, I'm off to my son's Christmas program. I will be back in two hours, and uh, yes, I'm feeling better. I'm feeling chipper, as you could say. Whoo! I'm so glad. That is in the rear view mirror. All right, here we go. Christmas program, and then I'll be back for the last two tips for maintaining your fitness during the Christmas season. Woo! Oh, Precious, I'm back. I'm back from my oldest son's first Christmas program. Just Precious to see him up there on the stage singing his little heart out, Hark the Herald Angels Sing, dressed as a little lamb. Oh, man. I would show you footage. You better believe that I filmed it. You know I did. But uh, there's a bunch of other little kids in the shot, and, you know, don't want to get them on YouTube without their parents' permission, if you know what I mean, if you know what I mean. Okay, two more tips for maintaining your fitness during this Christmas and holiday season as we prepare for the new year. And the first drink as much eggnog as possible, right? Especially if it's from Trader Joe's. Oh, I'm ready to down it. No, no, no. Don't drink as much eggnog as possible. However, drink some and eat Christmas cookies and eat pie and don't like this time of the year. It's like we should enjoy the tidings of the year and the goodness and the sugar. And like, I love, I love sugar. I love sugar. I don't know about you, but I'm just, a, I'm a big fan of sugar, especially when it is put into delicious Christmas cookies. However, sugar can create what? Dehydration. Dehydration. So, I know it's a simple tip. I know. I know. But tip number five is drink a little more water than usual. It just will go a long ways for keeping your overall body happy and healthy during this Christmas. I'm telling you, it's like every Christmas I try to increase my water intake just a little bit and it goes a long ways for that overall body health so that when you arrive on january 1st you don't feel like oh so that is my fifth tip i know it's a simple one and tip number six and maybe you guys have already done this pick a race to run on new year's day every city across america has a race on new year's day and again this is not an earth-shattering tip, but it never hurts to have a little goal to shoot for over the next two to three weeks at the end of December when things get busy with Christmas parties and, and company parties and all these different events that happen that are, are joyful and are so exciting and fun, but it takes up time. And so getting that motivation up to keep, them, to keep the training going, it never hurts to have a goal race at the beginning of the year. And maybe it's January 1st. Maybe I sometimes I hear people race at midnight you know at the stroke of midnight there's 5ks that go off i've never done one of those maybe it's january 5th but sometime early in the new year it just never hurts to have a goal race 5k 10k don't go run a marathon don't let's not get crazy now just a nice easy short race to keep that momentum going and that motivation going leading into the new year let's review real quick tip number one maintain your fitness don't have to push it forward. It's like, that'll be for January and February. Tip number two, keep your running social. Call your buddies, text your teammates, text your coworkers. Be like, hey, let's go for a couple runs this week. That'll just help motivate you to get you out the door. Tip number three, the treadmill. Be not afraid of the treadmill on those crazy weather days. Tip number four, the core work. Work on that core. This is the perfect time right now when you're maybe not running as much, your mileage is lower, you have a little more time on your hand to lay a strong foundation for the new year, all right, when your miles will increase. Tip number five, 
Agua. Oh, all of those company parties, all of those Christmas cookies, we got to offset that sugar with agua, with water to keep our hydration up, keep our overall body health up. Tip number six, pick a race for early 2019. Maybe it's a 5K, maybe it's a 10K, whatever it is, make sure it's not a marathon, but pick a goal race to keep you a little motivated to get you out the door when it is freezing out and when you just want to sit at home and yes, drink a little eggnog. Mmm. Oh, butter my bread. Oh, it's good. And the question of the day, what is your number one tip for maintaining fitness during the Christmas and holiday season when the Christmas cookies are bountiful and we're just enjoying ourselves? So comment below. I guarantee you there's going to be a lot of great ideas that I'm going to learn from because I need help, guys. And I bet a lot of you out there could use some tips as well. So make sure if you don't have a tip, that's okay. But go down below and read and hit that like button now next to those comments for those tips that are like, wow, I never thought of that. That's amazing. And the keyword, and by the way, did you notice I forgot the keyword yesterday? Shh, don't tell anyone, don't tell anyone. All right, the keyword for this blog is eggnog, eggnog. All right, I'm getting a little loopy. I gotta go to bed, seek beauty, work hard. I wanna drink this so bad and love each other. See you tomorrow, see you tomorrow, you two.